Hey guys, welcome to Game Jam, and today we're going to talk about some data analysis I did on Roadhog. But first, I want to give you a little idea of how I'm playing with Roadhog right now and why I've been uh, driven to some questions that I have that I want to answer with statistics. Overall, I feel like I play a pretty decent Roadhog, but sometimes I'm missing hooks, and sometimes I'm missing behind, shots. Not to mention the fact that I make other new mistakes like not watching my health or hooking somebody without having reloaded before. Uh, that being said, I want to be able to use the end screen and other statistics that are available to me to do a better job uh, playing the game. The idea here is we want to look at the end card, and what we're trying to do is come up with information that's important for us that we can take into the next game about how we played, right? That's what this card is here for. So let's look specifically at Roadhog, because that's what I'm trying to focus on right now. Whole Hog kills us three. The healing actually seems not too bad. Uh, elimination seems pretty good. Uh, weapon accuracy, however, may not be enough there at 34%. Alright guys, I have an Excel sheet up here that will give some uh, information that I downloaded using the API that's available. Uh, it's essentially pulling Overwatch statistics. Uh, the sites that I'm using to get player information was from Master Overwatch dot com and overbuff.com it's the same site that you can go to yourself and look at your own statistics uh, but the idea here was i wanted to compare my statistics versus the top 50 roadhog players now when i'm pulling the top 50 roadhog players uh what i ended up doing was i wanted to pull the people with the most amount of time in the current competitive season that has a sr above 3000 i think i i'll technically let in some that were 2990 uh, but the, essentially the idea was to pull people that had high ranks and lots of time on Roadhog so that we could analyze their averages versus my averages on a whole bunch of different uh, metrics. Uh, so the metrics that I have got here, this is time. Don't have to worry about that too much. But then we have critical hits per minute, damage per minute, heals per minute. And you notice how all the statistics are mostly around this per minute mark. Uh, I was originally going to try to do it uh, per game, but the problem is that games can vary so much that I felt like a per game metric wasn't a really good starting point because if a game goes long, of course your damage per game would go up, right? But if it's per minute, it kind of gets away from all the other things and should get rid of all the other variables and just focus about how much, what are you doing in a per minute time, uh, regardless whether your games go long or your games go short. Um, so you got healing per minute. I flipped it around for minutes per death just because I thought that was a more interesting thing to talk about. Uh, we have eliminations per minute, hooks per minute, solo kills per minute. And then the last two are really important is hook accuracy and shot accuracy. So what I have heard quoted before on Reddit, and then this is just uh, off the top of my head, somebody saying you need to have at least between 60 to 80% for your hook accuracy to be, in order to be a good road roadhog. Or... Um, you know, you, some people even say, you know, the closer you are to 100%, you know, you're just going to be a better Roadhog. Uh, and so the idea is I don't want to look at one game and say, what was my hooking accuracy in one game? I want to look at it as an overall thing because if you, if you just take one good game from a pro player, you'd be like, yeah, wow, he's amazing. But if we throw away all the other games that happen in between, you're not getting a real accurate pic picture of overall performance with Roadhog. Um, so that being said, uh, let's take a look at the data. This top line is my data. Uh, you can see my ranking has actually fallen down a little bit since then, but it's around 2,200 or so. Uh, we have 10 critical hits per minute. Uh, I have 1.15 minutes between deaths. I die more frequently. You can see the numbers are higher over here. That means people last longer. Uh, my eliminations per minute is right here. The other ones are pretty self-explanatory. And of course, the hooking accuracy for the shot accuracy. I actually thought my hooking accuracy was going to be less, but apparently it's not so bad. So, okay, cool. Um, so scrolling down here, what I'm going to show you is I have an average of the top 50 players. And then I have the difference between their the average and what my score is. And you can see all of my scores are less than the top 50 players, which makes sense. They're better than me. Uh, but let's go through it real quick. The average rating that I was looking at was 36.90, so a pretty high rating, I think uh, good enough for doing some analysis. It was with 50 Roadhog players, so it should uh, hopefully smooth out any weirdness between some players playing a little bit differently than others. Um, but if you look here, so critical hits per minute, I am, so this metric I have down here 
is the percentage in difference between my my number versus their number, assuming their number is the best. Uh, so you can see I'm 80%, 83% of their average. I'm 90% of the damage per minute. I'm generally a pretty aggressive player. Uh, and I also try to use my healing a lot, so I'm 90% of the healing per minute. Um, but then if you notice the minutes per death, I am dying a lot more frequently than uh, the higher SR players are. Or right, oh, we'll just call them the top 50 Roadhogs. The eliminations per minute is pretty good, because again, I was just saying I'm aggressive. Uh, but you notice my solo kills per minute is pretty low. Um, and, but I think the biggest metric over here that's important is the shot accuracy. And what we're going to find when we're looking at other statistics is that the shot accuracy ends up being a very key metric. So this is a correlation that I put together down here. I, I blacked out all the other stuff that isn't important. Essentially what we're looking for is the closer a correlation is to one is the more relevant the numbers are to each other. So if we were comparing the SR ranking to itself, of course, if you're comparing the higher an SR ranking goes up, the, the higher an SR ranking goes up. So it's one. Uh, but what we're looking for, the, the numbers that are closest to one are the ones that are more relevant to the SR. And the ones that are less than one have a negative correlation. So let me walk through it and it'll make a little bit more sense. So let's look for the highest numbers that we've got here. If we're looking through this list, the highest number is this. I think there's one more in here. Nope, that's it. Okay. So the highest number in here is this damage per minute. So the higher damage per minute that you can output, the higher your SR ranking is likely to be. And it's a pretty good correlation here. And if we're going through the top three correlations, we've got damage per minute, critical hits per minute. Oh, there we go. That was the number I was missing. Shot accuracy. So let me... Um, so this actually is the most important thing. So the most important thing for getting a higher SR is shot accuracy first. Then working down the list is damage per minute, critical hits per minute, and minutes per death. So all of those things are very relevant to a Roadhog performance. However, all the, the myths about hooking performance being so crucial to being a really good Roadhog are maybe not that true once you get up to higher rankings. So if you look at the hooks per minute and the hook accuracy, they're not that important to a, ro a good Roadhog player. Now you might wonder like why that is. You think, oh man, you've seen good Roadhogs play and they're amazing with their hooks. Yes, it's still important to be good with your hooks. But what ends up happening is the difference between a lower level player and a higher level player is not that big. Essentially, once you get past a certain point, people are, are pretty decent at pulling hooks. And so it's not it doesn't become important about, about land. Yes, it's still important to land the hooks, but it's not as important a metric to focus on. Like I have to be the best hooker, you know, I have to be the, do the best job at, at landing my hooks. It's more about all the shotguns, shots that you're doing in between the hooks. So looking here, you've got the hooks per minute and hooks accuracy are not that relevant to the number. They're the lowest uh, correlations that, that exist on the sheet. Uh, and then also the other one too here is time played. Just because you've played more time doesn't necessarily mean you've got a higher SR ranking. Though, again, these are people that have 55, 60 hours on the game or, or in the current competitive season. So yeah, the difference between uh, 70 hours versus 50 hours isn't going to make your SR ranking that much higher. Um, so the other interesting metrics here are the negative correlations that pop up. And the interesting ones here are healing per minute. Oh, let me highlight there. Healing per minute and solo kills per minute. So you would think that a better Roadhog would actually be maybe healing more. Uh, but what ends up happening is I think they end up needing to heal less. One, because they're doing a better job at landing their shots, so they don't take as much damage. Two, they're working with their teammates better and letting the healers do their job while they focus on the damage, which is their job. Or the Roadhog job is our job. I'm going to say that if you're a Roadhog player here. Uh, and the other thing that's interesting is the solo kills per minute. So you would think that a you know really good SR player just solo kills left and right, hooking people out of the sky, instant one-shotting all over the place. Uh, but what ends up happening is I think that they work more with their teammates. And so instead of needing to do solo kills, when they throw out a hook, the soldier immediately turns around and fires on that person. So everybody contributes to that kill. That might also be what's increasing the eliminations per minute. That's probably not the only reason that's going up. Um, 
but using correlation and using this information, what I'm finding out and learning is that road hogs should be focusing on their shotgun accuracy a lot more than they should be focusing on their hooking accuracy. Landing solo kill hooks is not nearly as important as working with your team and landing your shotgun shots. So that being said, um, I am going to do a, another game uh, where I go look into this, uh, see whether I can use that information to do a little bit better. And let's, let's see how it goes. That's it. That's a game. That did damage. Oh, until I killed him. <laughs> Look at that. It looks really nice when I get to be up on the leaderboard. I'm actually not on the leaderboard all that often. Excellence is its own reward. And I, 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 and I don't uh, homer. I, I vote for the for the the guy over there. <laughs> uh, what's nice here though is I got the medals to show that I actually did have good performance. We had eight deaths, which is cool. My weapon accuracy was down low, even though I was trying to focus on it. But again, by, by telling myself, by reinforcing that message to myself, I need to focus on that, uh, maybe I can improve my rating. So uh, I'm gonna add, this is again to the whatever happened before. Thank you for watching. If you've got any feedback for me on the games or on the analysis I just did, let me know and put it in the comments below. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.